I'm here with John Resig, our, our resident JavaScript and all things hardcore guru. <laughs> Thanks, Al. And, and also the architect behind what we're looking at right now. What yeah. is this? Yeah, this is, this is really exciting. This is the new Khan Academy uh, computer science content. Uh, we've been working on this now for, for a little while, and I, I'm, I'm just really excited to get this out now. And, and, and so this is a page, so we have, I see a bunch of links right here. There's an introductory video. So what we're doing right now isn't the introductory video, it's yep. the launch video. Yes, yes. There's another introductory video that walks through all of the stuff. But let's let's talk a little bit about what this computer science is. So fundamentally, you've, you've created a, kind of a neat environment. Hmm. Uh, so let, let's go, so here's some of the example programs that people have done already mm -hmm. on, on this on this platform, really, that you've, you've made. So here are some of the getting started ones. Let's, let's play with... So this is the most basic one, Winston. Yeah, yeah. And so, so you got some ellipses and uh, uh, you know, ellipsy. And, and it's an environment and where you have right over here, you have your coding pane on the left, and then you have a canvas to draw. So it's immediately visual. So this mm -hmm. is something that's pretty basic, mm -hmm. even for an early programmer. Mm -hmm. And and what I find very exciting is is some of this action that you can change things in real time. Yeah. So, and there's tutorials that go into more depth. I can make Winston closer to my complexion. <laughs> if he, if he, he is. There you go, and we can mm -hmm. we can change things in real time. So even for a, a beginning programmer, they can start to to play around with mm -hmm. things. But obviously, th this is actually what, what's been surprised. It's a fairly powerful. It's a fairly powerful environment. Yeah, being able to have that that responsiveness, I feel like it allows you to just kind of better understand, you know, how things you know interact with each other uh, um, at, at a pretty fundamental level. Yeah, and we have things like this, which is a little bit more involved, and and we can change. We can change in real time some of the the core variables right over here. Mm -hmm. So the initial spiral configuration. We'll see what happens if we change it a little bit. Well, you can see how it immediately changes everything. Mm -hmm. Maximum radius. What is this? I don't even know what that does. It does something. It seems to get larger. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, so it's the it's the radius of the circle, mm -hmm. number of points in the spiral itself. We can reduce. Sounds like it's getting it. less and less. It's getting yeah, we get thinner, thinner, thicker. Yeah. So this is this is fascinating. Yeah. There's all of these, let me leave this page. And so there's a ton of examples of what people have already done all the way to this, I guess, this expert level. You mm -hmm. have, this is, uh, Ben Kamen wrote this void. It's literally a, a bird flocking simulator. Yeah, yeah. But you can actually, maybe this is less realistic, hit the birds with rock. Yes. With, with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> that you're, but this was all done. I mean, what's neat is this was done all in this environment. Mm -hmm. It's all JavaScript right over here. And mm -hmm. anyone can go and look at these and change them. Yeah. And then you can save it as your, you can save as, and it'll save it actually in your, yeah. in your profile. Yeah. Uh, the big thing we want to do is we want, we want everyone to be able to see the code and the thing that's running simultaneously. Yeah. And you should always feel willing and excited to change what's there and make it your own. Uh, uh, so we want to really heavily encourage exploration and experimentation. Uh, and I, I think this platform uh, is, is going to do that. Yeah, this is, this is neat. And then you can collect the stuff. So if you go to profile, it shows up there. And then you can share it with other people, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that I've been working on. I still have a little work left to do. Mm -hmm. But I had some simple, I, I want to do Ulam Spiral. I can actually show the current version of it. Mm -hmm. I have a made a little video on it, too. But yeah, so you just plot the prime numbers, things like that. Mm -hmm. And how, let's see, how do we get here? So regardless, so you go to watch mm -hmm. computer science, yep. and then you click there, and yep. it takes you to that main computer science page. Yep. And what if, so we just looked at a bunch of examples, and obviously people can look at the code for those examples, they can tweak it, mm -hmm. they can save their own versions, and, and, and maybe create derivative versions of them. Mm -hmm. What if someone's a complete beginner? Mm -hmm. What should they do? So I mean, probably the, the, the best way to go about it is you know to look at some things that you think are kind of interesting, you know, like, like, like looking at some of the introductory uh, uh, explorations, you know, you, you, some of these programs here where, you know, it's just, you know, just basic drawing, for example. Yeah. If you've never programmed before, this is a great way to get started. You know, start to look at what is being done there and see if you can't, you know, kind of, you know, uh, see if you can't kind of intuit like how those, you know, you know function calls work. Um, and, but but even so, we have a whole bunch of tutorials. So like, if you go up to the uh, uh, drawing tutorials there, um, like we have a number of tutorials. We have a, a few tutorials on drawing, along with you know some of these programs that you you can learn drawing from. Uh, um, and then if you go up to um, 
you know, if you want to learn some of the uh, basics of programming as well, you, you can you can view the programming basics. And we, we go even in, into more depth about like you know, some of these topics that uh, uh, you know you, you might want to understand better. And, and they also have like an audio component. Yes. Our, our now soon to be famous intern Jessica recorded many of these. Yes. But if you press play here, you'll actually have her talking through what she's doing here and she'll change the code in the canvas as yeah. she speaks and then you can interact with that code. Which yeah. Is, which is pretty neat, yeah. almost, almost magical in, in my <laughs> opinion. And one thing that I found really valuable, even for myself, is is to, it, it's sometimes fun to tweak other people's code, but once you feel comfortable, to actually just look at what they did and try to build it yourself from scratch. Because sure. that's really how you really learn a program, mm -hmm. is get inspired, see what's possible, and then try to build it yourself. And if you get really stuck, then you see how other people have, have implemented things. Mm. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is really exciting. Did, did we miss anything? No, no. I mean, yeah. This is this is the big thing. I think the, the big thing we want to encourage here is, you know, we want you to make your own things. You know, you, you know, not only building off of what we have, but create something original. Uh, um, you know, you can you know take components from what we've written and or just write stuff that's completely new. Um, uh, uh, Mercury subspace there is a pretty awesome one. That one, I think people will, will get a big kick out of that one. And so this whole um, game was written right here. Yeah. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. that was done by uh, David, one of our interns. Oh, yeah, and this is a real game. Yeah, <laughs> this is a uh, yeah. David, David kind of overdusting sometimes. <laughs> this, this is pretty good. This is oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And this was all written there. And someone can can change. How do I pause it? Uh, I'll just, just click over uh, outside oh, I move. of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, very so good. like for example, there you got your max health. Mm -hmm. So why don't you try changing max health? And look at the hearts in, your, in the display up there. So if I change my max health to ten. There and all go. of a sudden, we have more hearts here. <laughs> yep. and there and so go. this is fun. You can, I mean, even a very beginner could start changing a, a fairly sophisticated yeah. program. You could change the images and things like oh, that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so yeah, yeah. Why don't you go down? Scroll down a little bit. So you got your guy there in a little. He's in mm -hmm. a little beetle there. Yeah. Uh, there, there you go. So there, there's one that's uh, the second one down. Beetle ship. So uh, beetle ship. Um, and why don't you click and you scroll down over there a little bit and um, say Spunky Sam. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so Funky why don't you click Sam. that? And so uh, uh, you can see there. Look at oh, now. So now, now, now the ship is Spunky Sam. Yeah, now you're shooting. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. So I mean, th I think this is sort of you know one of the things we really wanted to do is we really wanted to make it powerful. You know, you know it, it's simple enough that that anyone can really get in and start to you know play around. Um, so I think one of the, the you know the, the big things here is that you know we want you to make your own things. And then down below, you you see that there is this you know discussion area where you can you can ask questions and and comment on things and you know this is a big thing like I I, I think you're this you're gonna find this to be a really valuable way to get feedback and to uh, uh, be able to talk with other people and get a better understanding about how things work. And actually become a better, I mean, one thing I found is just writing a couple of these tutorials, getting feedback from you and other people has, <laughs> I think, made me better because there's little silly things that I kept doing and now all of a sudden other people can look at it, find other interesting ways of doing it or even asking, or you know, and you could ask the author questions mm -hmm. about how would they have done something. So it yeah. really creates a community of, uh, of learners here. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is exciting. Yeah. I already have two or three projects that I'm I'm not getting much other uh, other things done right now. This is kind <laughs> of Great, I, yeah, I I love it too. I I've been having a blast playing around with it.